Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with exercise 18.3 of the chapter menstruation. We have already did till question number 10 in our previous videos. Now let's start with question number 11. Now in question number 11, we have a rectangular piece of tin of size 30 cm by 18 cm is rolled into two ways. Once along its length, that is 30 cm and once along its breadth. Find the ratio of volume of the two cylinders so far. First we are rolling with along with this length and the second time we are rolling with its breadth. So just side se bhi hum roll karenge that will become the height of that cylinder and the other side will become the circumference of that cylinder. So here the circumference equals to 18 centimeter and here it will be 30 centimeter. Now with the help of these circumference we are going to find the radius 1 and radius 2. So here we get 2 pi r1 equals to 18. So R1 equals to 18 upon 2 pi that is equals to 9 upon pi and here this will be 2 pi R2 equals to 30. So R2 equals to 30 upon 2 pi and this will be equals to 15 upon pi. So we have got the value of R1 and R2 in terms of pi. Now we are going to find the volume of both of the cylinder and here volume 1 equals to pi r square h that is pi into 9 upon pi into 9 upon pi into h we are having 30 pi to pi cancel out and we are going to multiply all of the remaining and this is 2 4 3 0 upon pi centimeter cube and volume 2 equals to pi r square h and this is equals to pi into 15 upon pi into 15 upon pi into h we are having 18. Now pi to pi cancel again. So 15 to 15 and into 18 and we get 4050 upon pi centimeter cube. Now we have to find the ratio of these two volumes. Now here the required volume equals to volume 2 upon volume 1 and that is equals to 4050 upon pi whole upon 2430 upon pi. This pi to pi is cancelled out. 1 0 is also cancelled out and we are left with 405 upon 243. Now 81 5 times and 81 3 times. So here we get 5 upon 3. That can also be written as 5 is to 3 as answer. Now let's see question number 12 and here in question number 12 we have the water flows through a cylindrical pipe of internal diameter 7 cm at 5 meter per second. Calculate the volume in liter of water discharged by a pipe in 1 minute and the time in minute the pipe would take to fill an empty tank of size 4 meter by 3 meter by 2.31 meter. Now here in this question we are having a diameter of 7 cm and for one second the height will become 5 meter because the water is flowing at a rate of 5 meter per second. So the water ka rate hume diya ga, that will act as the height for the given say. And here we have got the height as 5 meter as the rate of water is 5 meter per second. Now this one is second so first of all we are going to convert this into meter so 7 upon 100 meters. Then we are having the diameter so we are going to calculate the radius and radius equals to 7 upon 200 meter. Now we are going to find the volume for one second. So volume of water flow in one second equals to pi r square h and here we get 22 upon 7 into r we have got 7 upon 200 so 7 upon 200 into 7 upon 200 into h we have got 5. Now 7 1 times we have cancelled these two by 2 and 5 can also cancel this so 1 2 0. And we are left with 7 up 7 into 11 that is 77 upon 200 into 20 that is 4000 meter cube. This is the amount of water flowing through the pipe in one second and we have to find for the one minute. So the volume of water flowing through the pipe in one minute will be 77 upon 4000 into 60 as one minute contains 60 second. Now we have to go into solve it. Now we have to represent this answer in liters. So we are going to convert this meter cube into liter by multiplying it by 1000. Now here we have converted this meter cube into the liter by multiplying by 1000. Now we again cancel this two zeros and after this two, two times and two, five times then two, 
three times. Now multiply all of this to get the answer and we get 1155 liters as the answer for the first part. Now here we are having the dimension of the tank and we have to find the volume of it. So volume of tank equals to L into B into H that is equals to 4 into 3 into 2.31 and this will be equals to 27.72 meter cube and this meter cube will be converted into liter by multiplying it by 1000. So 27.72 into 1000 liter and this is going to give us 27720 liters. Now we have to find the time taken to fill this tank with a speed of this much. So here the time taken to fill the tank equals to 27720 upon 1155 and this is going to give us 24 minutes as answer. Now let's do question number 13 and here in question number 13 we have Two cylindrical vessels are filled with the milk and the radius of one vessel is 15 cm and the height is 40 cm. The radius of the other vessel is 20 cm and the height is 45 cm. Find the radius of the another cylindrical vessel of height 30 cm which may just contain the milk which is in the two given vessels. Now here in this question we are having three vessels. First is denoted by R1 and H1. The second one is represented by R2 and H2. The third one is represented by the capital R and capital H. Here the first two vessels are containing some milk and it is poured in the third one and the third one is exactly containing the volume of the milk which is contained by the first two containers. So here the volume of this one will be equal to the sum of the volume of these two. So according to question we have got pi r square h equals to pi r1 square h1 plus pi r2 square into h2 and here we get pi r square we have to calculate then h we have got 30 equals to pi again pi we can take common from these two we have got pi common r1 we have got 15 so 15 into 15 into h1 we are having 40 plus pi is already taken out then r2 we have got 20 so 20 into 20 into h2 we have got 45 then this pi can be cancelled from both of the side and r square into 30 equals to and here on solving this we've got 9000 plus on multiplying all of this we get 18000 and here r square equals to 9000 plus 18000 that is 27000 upon 30 now 0 is cancelled out and 3 is going to give us 9 over here 900 so r equals to the root of 900 that is equals to 30 centimeter as radius of the larger container. Now let's go with question number 14 and here we have a wooden pole is 7 meter high and 20 centimeter in diameter. Find its weight if the wood weigh 225 kilogram per meter cube. Now here in this question it has been given the height is 7 meter and the diameter is 20 centimeter. We are also been given the density of the wooden block as 2 to 5 kg per meter cube and we have to find the weight of the whole wooden block which is having this dimension. So first of all we are going to convert this diameter which is in centimeter to the meter by dividing it by 100. So 20 upon 100 meter we can cancel it out to get 2 upon 10 meter. Now the radius equals to 2 upon 10 into 2 over here. Now 2 to cancel out and it will give us 1 upon 10 meter. Now the volume, the volume of pole equals to pi r square h and here we get 22 upon 7 into r we have got 1 upon 10 into 1 upon 10 into h we have got 7. So 7 is going to be cancelled by 7 and you will be having 22 upon 100 meter cube as the volume of pole. Now the mass of pole will be equal to the volume into density and this is 22 upon 100 into 2 to 5 so 25 4 times and 25 9 times 2 2 times and here we get 11 now we have got 11 into 9 that is 99 upon 2 and this is going to give us 49.5 kg as answer now here we are going to do question number 15 in question number 15 we have a cylinder of maximum volume is cut from a wooden cuboid of length 30 centimeter and 
cross section a square of side 14 cm find the volume of cylinder and the volume of wood wasted now here in this question we are having a block somehow like this in which the cross section part is in a form of square and the length is having 30 cm now we have to find a cylinder which contains the maximum volume from this wooden block in that case we are going to convert this portion into the circular form and this will be taken as the height of the cylinder so for cylinder this we are going to act as a diameter as we have got the circular part over here only and this will act as the height so we have got 30 centimeter as height now to take the volume first of all we are going to find the radius so radius equals to 14 upon 2 that is equals to 7 centimeter now the volume of cylinder equals to pi r square h and here we get 22 upon 7 into r we have got 7 into 7 into height 30 centimeter now 7 is going to cancel it out. and on multiplying all of this we get 4620 centimeter cube this is the volume of cylinder obtained from this whole block now we are going to find the volume of whole cuboid and volume of cuboid equals to l into b into h and here we get 14 into 14 into 30 and this is going to give us 5880 centimeter cube now the volume of wood wasted will be equals to volume of whole cuboid minus the volume of cylinder that is 5880 minus 4620 and this is going to give us 1260 centimeter cube as answer That's all for this video. Thank you.